ChatGPT was released nearly more than a year ago and after that it came to a long way and now equipped with multiple different features. So in this particular video let me show you how you can use ChatGPT and what are those features and how can you make use of it. If you just type chat.openai.com you will be able to open this particular interface. You will be greeted with a login screen where either login or sign up uh, it will be asked for. Let me click on the sign up and show you what are the options it will give you. There are different other options using which you can log in. You can use it your Google account or your Microsoft account or uh, continue with Apple also. Now I will select continue with Google here and if I click here it will give a prompt and let me select one of my account where my subscription is not taken. So I will be able to show you what are the free options available here. Now it's asking for a few of the details. Uh, my name is already typed. Now let me add my date of birth here and let me click on agree. So you now it will uh, yeah so now verify you are a human. So I'll uh, start this particular puzzle. Now after providing the details it will now open up the console. Now here you can see there are uh, certain tips it came up with right. So I'll click on ok it's fine. Now you will be able to see few of the things. First of all you need to see this particular drop down here is showing chat GPT 3.5. So that's the option available in the free version. If you need to use GPT 4 then you need a paid uh, subscription. I'll show you that I have one subscription I'll using that I'll show you what those options are. This is the option you will get as part of the GPT 3.5. Now you can see there are four options it's showing right that these are the prompt uh, tell me a uh, fun fact or give me an idea. You can use these ready-made prompts and to generate some of the responses. Let me show you considering I publish some of the videos in uh, YouTube or write in LinkedIn. Uh, let me show you a couple of example in the content creation area and how can you generate uh, some ideas and uh, you will be able to utilize accordingly. So let me show you. So I copied one of the prompt earlier. Let me paste it here. I'm planning to publish Excel how to related videos in YouTube. Please suggest me fast 20 video ideas. So if I hit enter it will now give me certain ideas. You can see GPT 3.5 is quite fast and it will give you all those options right. You can see that it's giving me those ideas that which are the video content I can prepare for. So this is one and you can see it's also started now making a history of whatever my search or my queries were. Now down the line once you will re-log in you will be able to see all these histories and uh, it's quite useful in that way. Now let me show you another example. Now if I paste another prompt I'm planning to start a new YouTube channel from the 1st January 2024. Please give me a project plan for the same. So if I hit enter it will now come up with a project plan using which you can start planning. So this is just a few of the example. I earlier published another video where I shared some 10 use case where those scenarios you can use and how can you get most out of chat GPT. So you can refer that video. I'll add the link in the description below. While it's generating these particular responses, let me show you what are the other options available in the chat GPT. What are the uh, things that are available in the settings here? Uh, the, so left pane is the your uh, history you will be able to retain. If you click on this particular arrow, it will close the sidebar and from here you can choose the model it's going to use. Uh, if I click on this particular name I will be able to see certain options. One is the setting, second one is the custom instruction. Custom instruction is something that here you can give some certain inputs using which chat GPT will down the line uh, give you all those answers. It will remember all those custom instructions. I have another video where I cover this custom instructions in detail. Uh, just check in the description once the video will be published that link will be available in the description also. Now if I click on the settings you will be able to see certain things that in the general under that the theme is there the which theme it will uh, use. Uh, archive chat you can manage here. You can delete all of your chat also. In case you are not maybe happy with the chat GPT and you want to delete your account before that you can clear all of your chat also. And there is a data control also the shared links uh, you can manage shared link is another option I'll show you how to use it and uh, you can export the data whatever you have inquired in uh, chat GPT and what are the results you got. So those can be exported from here and the last option is the delete account. Now these are the options available in the basic version. You can see there is no plus sign here which will be available in the paid version where you will be able to upload certain files to get certain details. So let me show you that. Now uh, if I log off from here let me click on log out and then it will prompt me again for the login screen. 
Now let me click uh, sign up and now again continue with Google and I will select that particular account where I have that paid subscription. Now it is loading and once this is up you can see now there are some additional options. Now when chat GPT initially released near more than a year back, see it only came up with GPT 3.5 version and on that time it was available for free. But it had some of the availability issues and down the line once they released uh, GPT 4 which is a uh, much more uh, enhanced version and you will be able to see once you will be able to access you will be able to see those differences. Uh, now certain new things also came. So let me first show you that what are the options available here. If you click here you will be able to see GPT-4 is the option that is the LLM uh, model it is going to use and their DALI E is also included. There is a limit of 40 messages every 3 hours. So because of the current, current load uh, it is uh, getting from the all subscribers or users and there is another option that is plugin. So now plugin is certain thing that some additional uh, software using that you can use as a plugin like Canva as an application uh, that plugin is the available within chat GPT and if you click on that you will be able to see that what are the options available. If you go to the plugin store, you will be able to see multiple different options, multiple plugins, whatever available as of date. You can search, there are a good number of plugins available. I believe it is more than 600 as of date as per I can remember. Now if I come back, I just click a GPT-4. Now you can see that you will be able to use uh, chat GPT-4. Now there are few other options. Plugin is one thing I just talked about and I shown you that how can you include plugin and how can you go to the plugin store. Another option is customized GPT. If I click on this explore, you will be able to see that there are certain custom GPTs already available and all these are created by chat GPT. So these are created for some specific task like data analyst. It only works on the data analysis part and like another one is the coloring book hero, right? So it creates different coloring book which kids can use. Uh, let me show you one option here, maybe the coloring book hero and uh, if I just click here, so what it will do, it will open and uh, let me show you whatever the other things I have done earlier. Uh, if I click this mandala uh, flower coloring uh, uh, option, if you see that initially I asked one simple thing, create a flower coloring page based on mandala art and it created this basic one. Now later I asked for a complex one, then it came up with this thing. If you select this particular photo, you will be able to see it will enlarge and the detail you can see that what it generated, it is all AI generated. So these are the options are there and if you go to explore again, you will be able to see multiple different other custom GPTs. So these are created for some specific purpose like uh, there is a game time, it will help you to learn certain board games. Uh, Chat GPT classic where it was in the beginning how it was released. DALI E also is there to generate images. So all these options are there in custom GPT. So two major things Chat GPT actually came up with. One is custom GPTs, second is plugins. There are some integration with certain, certain applications you will be able to use both ZGPT and that particular application together for any of the purpose. Uh, I have certain videos coming up uh, where I shown that how you can use Canva and Zapier all those things. So just uh, maybe follow this particular channel you will be able to see those videos soon. So these are the options available. Let me now click on my uh, profile again and show you that what are the additional options available whenever you are using a paid version. Here you can see my GPTs where you will be able to create your own GPT for your own use and you can say that the create a GPT so that uh, is in a beta or but uh, you will be able to click on that and you will be able to create your own. Uh, again I am going to create a separate video for this particular feature. Also if I click here and you will be able to see settings and beta versions. Now data control it is uh, overall same and builder profile is another that where uh, chat GPT is currently in plan to um, start that uh, GPT store kind of a concept. The way we buy softwares from the Apple store or Google Play store. So uh, similarly in the GPT store and someone can publish their own GPT and there will be some revenue sharing down the line. We are expecting in maybe by mid of January uh, this particular thing will get announced from chat GPT that is the uh, news. So this is all about it. Uh, if you want to start using chat GPT, this is the way you can start. 
Now, ChatGPT is a product of OpenAI. Now, after the release of ChatGPT and the huge success, now all other different competitor companies also came up with their version of uh, large language models. Now, Google came with Google Bard uh, as a response to this particular ChatGPT. I have recorded another video explaining how to use Google Bard uh, as another LLM model. Uh, you can check out this particular video. Thank you for watching.